everyone. In this video, I will go through one of the most important concepts of Linux that is cron type scheduling. So it is actually used to run some task or some jobs on a regular schedule. For example, if you want to take a ba database backup or if you want to check the status of some service. So, but those kind of jobs, you want it to be happened on a regular basis. You don't need to interrupt yourself doing all those activities, but you want to create a cron job to do that for you. It is just a one-time configuration you will do and then system will rest take care, okay? So what is the format that we need to use to create a cron tab? So here we need to pass five arguments actually. The first one is the minute, at which minute we need to run this job. The next is R, at which exact R we need to run our job. Then what is the date of month on which we need to run our job? Like I want to run, uh, I want to take DB backup on every 31st of the month. Then in that case, here we will pass 31st, okay? Then what is the month? If you want to take uh, every month, then we need to use star option. Star is for the every month, okay? Now, on which day of the week we need to take the backup? It starts from zero, that is from Sunday to Monday, like that, okay? So on which day of the week you want to take the backup, okay? And now the next is the command. What is the command to take the backup of database or what is the command to take uh, to check the status of any service? All those kind of commands will be the argument, okay? Now here what we are trying to do, okay? First we have written 30, then eight, then 10, then zero six, then star. Star means every day or every week means every, okay? Now, what is the command? We are just printing the output of our home directory. It is not a relevant example. I will show the uh, show how to check the service status on the periodic basis. That will be more relevant to you guys. But just, this is just a simple I can think of. What does it mean? 30 means 30th minute. 8 means 8 a.m. in the morning. If it is 18 means uh, 6 p.m. in the evening. But it is 8 means 8 a.m. in the morning. Okay. Now it is a 10. 10 is 10th day of the month. 6 means six month that is June then star means every day of the week okay to view all the current cron tab entries in your system you need to enter this command cron tab hyphen l let's try this come under my system so currently this list is empty okay now currently I'm logged in as a root user but if I want to see the cron tab jobs scheduled by some other user that in that case you need to pass hyphen u and then that username okay if i want to see ec we have the ec2 user in case of aws machines so i will try to see the cron jobs scheduled by ec2 user okay again it is empty means no cron jobs are scheduled by the user ec2 okay now, if you want to edit the cron tab, then in that case, you need to use the option cron tab hyphen E to make the changes permanent. Okay, let's try this command. It will open the file where you need to place your entry for the job which you are scheduling. Okay, it is just a simple example where I'm trying to print the list, the content of the home directory. Okay, I will try to schedule a job where I will try to check the status of the service docker okay now see that example what i want to try here is i have created a shell script we don't need to go in detail of the shell script i will just show you what it is doing actually it is trying to monitor the status of my docker service how to check it manually is okay system ctl status docker okay system ctl is a command that will we will be using to handle the services to check status of the service or to check uh, uh, start the service or to stop the service all those services kind of related activities we will be doing using the system ctl command okay once i hit enter it will show me the 
current status of docker service that is active and it is running so the same command i will try to use in my shell script and to see the status of my docker service okay system ctl is active the service name here we are passing the service as docker and it will check if the service is active or not okay system ctl okay now if it return to be the exit zero then means status is running means our docker is running and if it is not running then it will show the output as not okay okay let's try to create this script first i am inside this directory i will just create this script okay copy paste this content okay it will just uh, we are defining the service name as docker then we are checking all the services are actually placed inside the bin directory and there we are executing the system ctl command is active whether our here it will be replaced with the docker because here we are passing docker and then it will check whether my docker service is active or not if it is active then it will respond me here as zero and i will compare the status with zero then if it is zero if it comes out to be zero then the status is okay and if it doesn't come out to be zero then it is not okay means the service is not up and running okay let's save this file now i will do ls hyphen lhgr okay now on, on this file a script the file which i have created i don't have executable permission on this file okay as you can see here the executable permission is not there so first i need to give executable permission on this file so in order to give that i will just do triple seven and this file in i will go into deep of this in my separate lecture where i will uh, define all the things related to linux permissions for now just i will give all the permissions to everyone user group and others everyone i will give the executable permission okay so now we need to schedule this job to schedule this job, we need to modify the cron tab entry. How to modify that? Using the cron tab hyphen E option. Okay, go to the edit mode and enter this. Okay, what it implies is every minute, every day, every day of the week, it will be running as we have the star over here. Okay, now just for demo purpose, it is so that uh, we can cross check the output just now. But this is not a proper use case. You need to modify it according to your requirement. Okay. Now we need to see that entry is coming or not. Okay. See, now we have this entry. Now how we can check whether our script is running or not. For that, we can run this command also. But here we won't uh, get the proper output. Okay. See, it is running. Okay. Means our cron job is working fine. Okay. Also, we can view the content of this file because it will be uh, putting our value to this file. Currently, it is not coming. Let's wait for some time. See, now it is coming. So, our Docker service is up and running. Okay. Again, we have some special keywords like for um, if you want to run some job yearly on yearly basis, this is the equivalent for this one. And this is the keyword that we can use for daily. We have this for hourly. We have this on if some job we want to run for on the startup, then we have the reboot. So these are some of the basic on cron top. If you like the video, kindly do comment and subscribe till then. Bye bye.